Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna do a little update on our game room. The highlight of this video though, however, is our power wall. It's phenomenal, I love it. I think it's something really special that we added to our room. It used to be a wine rack, but it didn't serve any purpose. It didn't go with the theme. It didn't go with the theme yeah. anymore. How I built this thing, I'm pretty proud of the fact that I built it basically all out of scrap yes. in my garage. Let's start off with the Xbox sign. The Xbox sign is very simple. And we weren't really planning on that initially. That just kind of, that we have a blank space on the happened. wall. We should I, do something here. I had a moose head uh, flag there yeah. before. And once we got rid of the wine rack, it blew, it didn't look. It didn't I'm go. going for an Xbox theme in the bar area. Just a sheet of plexiglass, something I had left over. I don't think I cut it at all. I think that's the piece that I had that's left over. That's the piece over. that you had left over. So we had a sticky vinyl. Yes, we had bought it initially to do other projects, which we did. The Batman light. The Batman light. And I don't know that we ever showed you guys that. I don't know that, if we ever did. But somebody picked it up at our last video on the TurboGrafx-16. Yep. So yeah, we'll show it to you guys now. It was very simple. I cut out yep. the bat symbol. It was a light we got from Home Depot. So it was, besides the light, I think, an entire roll of that stuff cost me like 12 bucks so it wasn't yeah. it wasn't expensive you can get at it all. on amazon i think amazon yeah. yeah so we repurposed it and we ended up building the xbox sign so yeah putting that on was <laughs> putting it on with it bubbling is a bitch it's a bitch so anyway once we finally get it on it's a two-man job to get it that is. thing on without bubbling it then i had we stenciled on the xbox yeah the uh the style the letters that i wanted the old the older style yeah. xbox and, and i think then, i did that while you were down here putting more work, work into the wall and then uh all, all i did was kind yeah. of the letters and then it just peeled right off easily yeah. yeah so and then on the back side all it is is a piece of piece of plywood i think actually a frame I built around it yeah. that is the exact same thickness of an LED light strip you can get. I think they're about half an inch. Yeah, about Correct half me an if inch. I'm wrong. It was scrap lumber. I didn't even look at the, didn't measure it. I just put the LED light strip up against it. It was the same width. So I put a frame around yeah. the inside of it, stuck the LED lights along the inside of that so it shines into where the Xbox symbol is. We put green paper on the back. I had some cardstock. So we put that on the back of the wall so that the wood wouldn't show through and it would yep. make the green even more vibrant. Instead of painting it, because I didn't want to paint it because no. we might not be here forever and the next owner probably doesn't want a patch of green right in the middle of their bar area. And I also have in the middle a uh, power button yeah. symbol. And that was all you. I had envisioned that to begin with. If we were building a power yeah. wall, he wanted something to symbolize that this is the wall power. of power. Yep. And what better than the power button? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I found a PNG of that online. I just made it the size we needed it to be and... Same thing, yeah. vinyl. Originally I was going to spray paint it. Yeah. Spray paint the negative part, and, but you came up with the vinyl trick. And then from there we came we, up, we with, the came Xbox up with the sign. Xbox sign. Uh, the controllers, everything's simple. It's all, like I said, scrap wood. It's mostly pine. That's in behind. I have pine. I think it's about two inches spaced yeah. out from the wall to give me room for the power bar and all the wires. Yeah. And then it's just pegboard that you would get at any yeah any Canadian Tower, Home Depot, whatever. And we had spray that painted it black. It was already there. It was already spray painted black. Because my son has this or had a full Nerf gun arsenal and we had it all up on pegboards and everything in his room yeah. and now he's kind of outgrown that and i had a couple pegboards left over from yeah. that so i repurposed it yeah. you'll notice that the controllers are sitting on what looks to be like a little shelf but it's a little plexiglass shelf yeah so and you guys have seen that before too in I've our room done a couple of he's, them he's done a couple yeah and it's a really great way yeah. to display your controllers if you have plexiglass lying around the house or if you don't want to have to try to outsource some sort of controller stand it's pretty darn easy to build your own if Something you like have yep. the tools the reason why i want a plexiglass is because i didn't want to block the controller i want to display the controllers exactly. at the same time exactly because they're like the controllers are really nice especially yep. some of those uh different color controllers i have my xbox one ombre pink black controller ombre ombre which i really really enjoy 
Uh, the biggest problem with this controller wall, well, there was two, there was two problems. The first problem was trying to negotiate how to put the VR gun and the move controllers on there because they don't sit like the controllers do. And what Scott ended up having to do was build a stand for the move controllers. Built, yeah, I just built a quick, it had to be simple and the same thing. It was the same scrap. It was literally a little piece of the same plywood I used for the back of the Xbox sign. I cut it to the size I needed. Mm -hmm. I had plexiglass. That plexiglass to get that shape was a little more difficult. I had to drill a hole yes. and then go into it with the table saw to notch out, take out the, the space I needed. I'm pretty proud of that. I, I like I like how that turned out. I do too. Initially you wanted to do something different and I just thought if you're going to put this much effort into making it look that good, why not yeah. make it look better? And that's a better solution. The other problem was this is not the first time we've put the wall up. The wall was up a few weeks ago. Mm. We had to tear it down because our PS3 controllers. Forgot the fact that you cannot charge your PS3 controller, move controllers right straight from the wall. Yeah. USB. And we're going to talk about that now. <clears throat> hey guys, you might hear Scott tinkering around in the background. That's because he's taking the power wall apart. Again, we forgot when we initially put it together because Scott had been tired of working on it all weekend long that your PS3 controllers and any component PS3 will not charge on an outlet. They will only charge on your PS3 on a dock made for PS3 uh, hardware or on a PC. However, we none of these were going to be a solution for us. We needed it to be able to plug into an outlet. After doing some research, we did find out that PlayStation did indeed make an adapter for this purpose. So we went ahead and bought three, and what we're gonna do is put them on the wall. Uh, you actually get two spaces in these, which gives you, if you're buying three, six controllers. So we have four move controllers and two PS3 controllers, so now we can hook them all up and have them charging. Uh, the reason for this is because there is a negotiation, a handshake, a data transfer, if you will, between the PS3 and your move controller or your regular ps3 controller that it just won't do on a standard outlet uh it was designed before usb was available to charge that way from what i've read so yeah this is the fix and we're gonna put it up on the wall another thing we ended up doing because we already had an ex existing shelf above where our wine rack was we didn't really want to pull the shelf out, nor could we. We decided to take some of our Xbox some games. Some of the yeah. favorites and some of the heavy hitters and, and put them up for display because our my Xbox shelf back there is becoming really cool. It's getting tight. Yeah. Yeah. So, and we also decided to backlight that as well. Easy, simple. Yep. All LED. LED. We tied into the ones Every, we had. Everything's on a remote. It's nice. Yeah. Yep. So all our all our lights down here. I'm I'm really proud of that. You did a great job. I like it. I yeah. hope I hope everybody likes likes it. it uh, besides the price of all the wires and everything mm -hmm. and the power bar that we put in it, it I literally was just uh, we used what just we some had. Just sweat and some yeah you know, sweat equity. Se sweat mm -hmm. equity there, I guess. Yeah. So I just yeah. I was lucky to have all that stuff in the garage already. And that's what you and I do in general. Yeah, repurpose. We love to repurpose yeah. stuff. I never bark or anything when he wants to keep anything that we might be able to repurpose. I'm like, yeah, let's do it because I don't want to spend the money. So let's let's spend the money in games. Yo, know, I don't know if you guys noticed in the videos that we do that, that we changed the color of the walls in the gaming area. Yes. There's three walls that we changed. We have two walls that are be painted green that go more with the Xbox theme because mm -hmm. the Xbox sign is on that back wall. My Xbox collection runs along the top. On the other side where the TV is, we went more of a PlayStation theme, so we have that PlayStation Blue. Yes, and the reason we did that was because Scott built this beautiful sign last year of PlayStation, and so it just generally made sense that that should be our PlayStation wall, which made us decide that there should be PlayStation-related... has to be game. yeah. gaming art up there. Yeah, gaming art. So, the first piece of art I made was Streets of Rage 4. Uh, 
I actually ended up painting it in 15 days. I was shocked. I Not didn't... like 15 days worth of work there. No, were like no. here and there, a couple hours. Exactly, yeah. and I didn't paint every day, but from the time I started it to the time I finished, it was a lapse of 15 days. Yeah. So I, I'm really happy with how it turned well, out. Well, it's a big piece. It's like, a big piece. We, uh, people may have seen it before. I had to get Jen to pose beside it and the TV to actually show... The actual scope of how big it yeah, is. Yeah, how, how, how big it actually is. For There's that. also like a kind of a hidden thing there yeah so it's a hidden storage area at it's the same a storage time. area yeah. yeah we need it more storage for the game room and we like a very clean aesthetic yeah. and that just made sense for that to be there that we just open it up and it's all magnet clasp it stays on it's on a, an accordion hinge it works great yeah. the other piece of art will be uh river city girls yeah, so we so we're going with a beat 'em up theme there on that and, black and wall, couch and because we both played those games. Yeah, played through. The All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, we are happy to be able to share this with you guys. Just a few updates we did to the room, the painting, the paint, painting of the walls, and the main focus is that power wall. My husband did a fantastic job. He is so handy. I love that. There are more projects There's to come projects. this year. Yeah, I still have plans for the bar area. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm thrilled that we can do stuff like that, which makes me want to make other videos to show you guys how to do stuff, maybe even on the cheap. Give you some ideas. Maybe yeah. you guys can give me some ideas. Exactly. How, I can give you a hint of what's going in the bar next. Do you like Gears of War? That's the next one. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, game on! This is the last time I'm taking apart this wall, Scott. One marriage can only handle so much working together. Okay? What? Did you see what I'm dealing with? No, that's not good on camera. You probably will. Who am I kidding?